This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at audio inside Final Cut Pro 10. In this excerpt, I want to highlight how to work with roles. What roles allow me to do is to identify clips based upon function. So I'm going to open up the Timeline Index, and when you click on the Roles tab here at the top, the Timeline Index says, look at all the roles that I've got. There are five roles inside Final Cut. There's video, titles, dialogue, effects, and music. If I click on video, all the video clips in my project are highlighted. We can see that. If I click on titles, all the titles of my project are highlighted. Or dialogue, or music, or effects. Okay, so let's say, hypothetically, that I want to add... Let's say I want to add reverb to my... Oh, let's do something that's got uh, multiple clips. Let's say I want to add reverb to all of my effects. It's a stupid thing to do, but let's say that I want to do that. By highlighting effects, notice that they're all selected, which means I can grab that effect, drag it on top of any one of those clips, and that effect is then applied to all the selected clips. Well, it gets even more exciting than that because we're able to create what are called sub-roles, as I've done here. I have a sub-role for all the footage that I've taken from NASA or that I've licensed from Pond5 or all the Dr. Surf clips. By clicking on a sub-role, I can see all the clips that are related to this. Let's say I have to color correct all of Dr. Surf. It's easy to select the Dr. Surf sub-role and drop a color correction filter on top of Dr. Surf and all those clips are color corrected. Now, let's take this to the next step. Here, for instance, I've created uh, Dr. Surf with a lower third title. Except this is part of a public service announcement, and I have to create two versions. I've got to create a Spanish language version, and I've got to create an English language version. Well, you know as well as I do that whenever you have to create two different projects that are exactly the same, it's just the titles are different or the narration is different, the projects are never the same. You always make a tweak to one and you forget to make that tweak to the other and all of a sudden the two of them are almost the same but not quite and you spend your time chasing your tail trying to figure out how do I get these things to match. Here, I've created a single project and I've added two titles. If I go down to where it says titles, if I turn on Spanish and turn off English, notice the bottom title is now disabled, the top title is enabled, and I'm in Spanish. Not just Spanish for Dr. Surf's lower third, I'm Spanish for the courtesy, I'm Spanish for the call to action at the end. Or I'll turn off Spanish, turn on English, and without ever leaving the same project, all of my Spanish titles are now inactive, gray, and all of my English titles are now active, blue, and I'm able to instantly output the same project in English, then export it again, and it's Spanish just by clicking a roll on and off. Roles allow you to select all similar clips, enable all similar clips, disable all similar clips, as well as with audio. For instance, I have English narration and Spanish narration. I could create a Spanish-English dialogue and turn it on or turn it off. I can also export stems where if I just highlight dialogue and I export this, I can export just the dialogue. Or there's a setting inside the file share master file. You're able to specify exporting roles as individual standalone QuickTime audio files or build all the different roles into a single multi-channel QuickTime movie. So if you need to deliver stems where dialogue is a stereo pair, effects is a stereo pair, music is a stereo pair, roles make that dead easy and you export it a single time, Final Cut will automatically create all the individual stems for you without you have to do any additional work, which is just way cool. Let's say that I wanted to say this is not a Spanish title but a French title. To assign a role, go up to Modify, go down to Assign Roles, and these are all the roles that you can assign. I could assign a French lower third, and notice now I've got Turn On French or Turn On Spanish. Or what you can do is you can go up to Modify, go down to Edit Roles. There are five master roles, Video, Title, Dialogue, Music, and Effects. You can add more. I generally leave these alone, and what I do is I add sub-roles. So, for instance, here, I'll go to Dialogue. I'll add a sub-role for English, 
and I'll add a sub role for French. Uh, we'll make it Spanish, so double click it, Spanish, and click OK. And now I can go down to here and I can say, this is dialogue, true, but I can assign an English, oh, I gotta select it, and I can say, change this and assign the role of dialogue English. And now that sub role shows up over here. If you create a role and you don't assign it, when you quit Final Cut, that role that has nothing assigned to it will be deleted. So you don't spend time at the beginning of a project putting all the roles and sub roles together that you may need, because as soon as you quit Final Cut, anything not assigned to a clip will disappear. Instead, create the roles as you need them, assign them to clips, and then they will show up both in the timeline index and be stored with your project as you move forward. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.biz slash store and look for Webinar 147. By the way, if you need to stretch your training dollars, a subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. You can access all of our videos for one low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,200 movies, dozens of hours of training, all in-depth and all up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.biz slash subscriptions. And thanks.